Hi everyone, this is Kristen Anderson, the Vegetable Product Manager and Trials Manager at Harris Seeds and Garden Trends. And today I'm at our Rochester, New York Trials location in our high tunnel where we have a variety of different vegetable trials going on. But the one that I'd like to talk about today is our cucumber trial. So we have cucumbers here growing in our high tunnel and they are trellised up with these strings that are on bobbins um, and a wiring system that we set up at the top of our tunnel. And uh, this allows us to grow more cucumbers on a smaller amount of space and therefore you could get higher yields from doing something like this. Uh, we planted these cucumbers, we direct sowed them at the end of May. It's currently July 5th. Um, and so you can see that they've grown several feet since then. And we started trellising them on our um, strings. And it's a very easy thing to do. We essentially just need some bobbins that are, have string on them with a hook on the top. We've set up a wire across the top of our high tunnel that we can hook these bobbins to. And once your plants are large enough, um, as ours were a couple of weeks ago, you can take some vine clips and uh, attach it to the bottom of the string, hook it at the base of your plant, and then start to trellis your plants up the string. Um, you'll continue to use your vine clips to clip the cucumbers. They've got little notches here in the front that you hook the string into and then pinch it closed. And it's very easy to do. When you are trellising your plants, you'll want to attach the vine clip at the base of one of the nodes so that it will um, latch underneath one of the leaves and then help hold up the plant. So you just basically clip it on and then that'll help support your plant as it continues to grow vertically. The other thing that's important to consider when you want to trellis cucumbers is that you need to prune them. The cucumbers will push side shoots off of the side of the main stem of the plant, which will cause the plants to be bushy and hard to manage. So if you want to trellis your cucumbers, it's best to prune off those side shoots to encourage a single shoot to move um, vertically and be trellised on the string that you set up. The easiest way that I find to do this is just to use a pair of hand pruners uh, and then go through and um, carefully prune off any side shoots that you see coming off of the main stem. These will be shoots that you can see have um, some visible um, apical marisom starting on them, so you'll want to cut that off so that it doesn't grow outward um, so you can encourage vertical growth. So we have some here. You'll want to just cut it at the base. Um, leave a little bit of a nub by the stem so that it can dry over and heal rather than causing damage to your main stem. Um, but you'll want to take off as many of these as you see and that will help encourage the vertical growth of your plant. Some of them may be a little bit small. If you keep a close eye on your plants, you come out and you clip them regularly, um, you can take those off as you go and that'll be a little bit easier once they're larger to remove them. So you'll just continue to do that until you've got a clean plant that's growing vertically only. Um, you will need to continue to do this and keep up with it because they'll continue to push shoots off of the sides as they grow. The other important thing to consider um, when you're pruning is that the tendrils of the cucumbers will get twisted around each other um, as well as the strings that you are encouraging them to grow up. If they're twisting around the strings, that's great. You can leave them be and that'll help you to trellis them. But if they're twisting around the other plants nearby, it's good to cut those loose so that they don't get tangled within one another. Once you've trellised these and they've reached the very top of your string that you've set up, you're going to want to lower and lean the plants so that they continue their vertical growth. Um, this is very simple to do. Once they reach the very top of the, of the string that you've set up, they reach the bobbin. You'll just want to take the bobbin and unroll a length of the string and do this for each plant that you have set up and then slide your bobbin on one direction or the other and lean the plants over. It's totally fine for the vines to lay down on the ground and when you do that you'll then want to prune off any lower leaves that are still um, lying there and that will help make it easier for the plants to cleanly lay on the ground. Um, but otherwise they'll continue to grow upward so by unwinding your bobbin you've given them a little bit more space to grow and then you'll continue to have flowering and fruit set for an extended amount of time. Again, on a smaller space um, within your high tunnel. And so that's how we prune and train our cucumbers here in our high tunnel. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us and we'd be happy to give you some advice. Thank you.